Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install Homebrew and Telnet application on your Mac OS. There are times that you need this Telnet program for some troubleshooting purposes. Let's begin. The commands that I will be using here will be found in the description below. Now let's install the Homebrew on our Mac OS by using the install the sh script let's paste it here and it will ask us for the password enter and then enter and then let's wait to finish the installation it's going to take like less than a minute okay it's uh, downloading now okay it's completed so let's open a new session so let's say new window and let's minimize this and verify the let's verify the homebrew version by typing brew minus v so now we have a homebrew 4.2.9 in our system so next we will install the talent program so let's do a brew install Telnet. It's completed. So we have now a Telnet program within our Mac OS. So let's verify if we can connect to our um, server using port 3389. Uh, so let's do a Telnet 192.168.50.248.3389. Yep, as you can see, it's connected. And we know that the port 3389 on the destination server is open. Now that we successfully installed the Talent program and the Homebrew, I'm going to show you on how you can uninstall the Talent program within your system. So what we're going to do is to um, do a brew uninstall telnet and it's been removed if we do a telnet z shell command not found telnet so next so let's verify first the homebrew version we still have the homebrew and i'm going to show you how you can uninstall the homebrew within your system so let's use the uninstall script let's paste it here enter are you sure yes and then it will ask us for a password it's been uninstalled uh, but but it says here the following possible homebrew files were not deleted so let's go to the opt folder and let's do a list and let's remove the folder homebrew so we can totally remove the homebrew folder and the necessary uh, files there. So rm minus r for the recursive and then homebrew password and enter. If you do an ls, it's been removed. That's all for now. Thank you.